हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट चैंबरलिन ओलिगोपोली मॉडल अकॉर्डिंग टू चैंबरलिन इफ ओलिगोपोलिस्टिक रिकॉग्नाइज देयर इंटरडिपेंडेंस विद अदर फॉर्म्स एंड एक्ट अकॉर्डिंगली देन दे कैन रिसीव मोनोपोली प्राइज एंड मोनोपोली प्राइज हाईएस्ट प्राइज व्हिच गिव द मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट According to this model, if oligopolistic recognize their interdependency with other firms and act accordingly, then they can receive monopoly prize and monopoly prize are highest prize which give the maximum profit. So, according to this model, if oligopolistic get known how they are influenced by other firms' prize and output decision and they also act according to them. then they can definitely receive monopoly prize which give them maximum profit assumption of this model are interdependency each firm recognize their interdependency and act accordingly learning each firm learn from their past behavior homogeneous product means product of firms are exactly same size of firm are equal and we assume zero cost of every firm and firms have full knowledge about market demand now we understand this model with the help of this diagram here we assume we have only two firms a and b first of all a will enter in the market so a has monopoly in this diagram you can see on x axis we have output of a y axis we have price of a uh, this uh, dd curve shows market demand curve and this dotted line shows a marginal revenue curve of firm a so a has monopoly in market because a is only one firm in the market that's why a is taking monopoly price and price of a is op that is equal to monopoly price and output of a is om here we assume marginal cost of firm is zero and zero will lie here at this point and this dotted line shows a marginal revenue of a firm at m point you can see marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost that's why it will be called profit maximization point as we know at profit maximization point marginal cost become equal to marginal revenue at this point a firm is getting profit equal to o p r m this part will be called profit of firm a which will be called a monopoly profit so a is receiving a monopoly profit that's why after seeing the monopoly profit of a b firm will enter in the market now two firms are producing so now they have duopoly this dotted line m r1 shows marginal revenue of b this p will be called profit maximization point of b and b is producing equal to m p as b enter in the market production increase production increase that means supply increase supply increase as a result price fall from op to op1 now both firms are taking op1 price as price fall profit of a also reduce so earlier a was receiving op r m profit but now a is receiving op1 r2 m so when price reduce eventually profit of a also reduce now main twist will come in this model which make this model very unique a will no tolerate a reduction in profit that's why now a will make a unique strategy and strategy of a is that a decided to reduce his output as much as increased by b please listen carefully now a is decided to reduce his output as much as increased by b so now a reduce his output from om to ok now a is producing ok reduction made by a in his output is equal to km and km is equal to mp so we can say that a has reduced his output as much as increased by b so this km is exactly equal to mp now we can say that both firms are producing om okay amount of output is produced by a and km is produced by b because this km is equal to mp you can see as a reduce output price again increase from op1 to op now both firms are charging op price which is equal to monopoly price as we know monopoly price give us highest profit so here you can see how with the strategy of a 
both firms are able to charge a monopoly price and earn maximum profit. Now we will see criticism. This model is based on unrealistic assumption like equal size of firm. But in reality, equal size of firm is not possible. This model assumes zero cost of production, but in reality, production is not possible at zero cost. According to this model, if oligopolistic recognize interdependency with other firm and behave accordingly, then they can receive a monopoly price. But recognition of interdependence is not so easy. We have to consider so many factors, but this model ignore this. According to this model, if one firm reduce output, eventually price increase and both firm can receive monopoly price and earn maximum profit. But earning maximum profit is not so simple. We have to consider consumer demand, but this model completely ignore this. And this model assume in the new firm cannot enter in the market but in reality this is not possible so this is all about chamberlain's oligopoly model i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care